very exciting. The badge, Madge, the badge. <laughs> You're looking... <laughs> no, I didn't land on you. Isn't that amazing? There you I are. had nightmares about those stairs last night. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Oh. Same, same. Oh, excuse our dusty. Oh. I'll make myself comfortable. Hello? Hello? Who is it? Large. It's Ted Heath here. Oh, hello, darling. <laughs> You're downstairs, are you? Yes, I am. I'm waiting. Oh, darling, really? Well, look, I'm not quite ready for you yet, Mr. Heath. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just hang around down there for a minute, will you, darling? Oh, dear. <laughs> busy night? Oh, it's always busy here at Everidge Towers, Dusty. Oh, be glamorous. Dusty. Yes. Now, that's not your real name, is it possible? No, I'm still trying to find the so-and-so that gave me that name. It's oh, so no, I'd like it. It's quite yes, a raunchy it's like a little name. Country singer. It is, but what is your real name, dare I ask? Mary Isabel Catherine Bernadette O'Brien. It's a good Polish name. Isn't it's it? lovely. <laughs> We've got some Poles in the audience tonight, by the way. to Polish mouth. It's certainly not a Church of England name. I'll put, no, it is not. I'll put it that oh, way. No. I'm trying to think of you. Get a little picture of you as a kiddie, my darling Dusty. Oh, dear. Must no, be. you're beautiful. Uh, you are, but we all had our little juvenile origins. I was a... Well, I wasn't the beautiful person I am now when I was a kiddie. I was, well, I was a little bit plain, to tell you the truth. Mm. I can't believe it's, that. It's hard to believe, I, I, I know. know. Metamorphosis. I beg your pardon, darling? Never mind. It's <laughs> not catching. <laughs> what were you like? Tell me, paint a little... Hideous! Hideous, hideous. No, I was a very, um... A very large child for a small child, if you know what I mean. I, I was sort of the kind of child that... No one could think of anything else to say, but doesn't she have lovely colouring? Oh, no. They say these are euphemisms. Lovely feet. I know, when I used to call people vivacious, it always meant they oh, were yes. chatterboxes. Hurt. Hurt. Hurt is another yes, one. And when a girl was light on her feet, she was always enormously <laughs> fat. Well, again, or, or a girl with strong features was yeah. as ugly as sin. <laughs> the elephant woman. <laughs> what was your hair colouring? Red. Extremely red. Wow. Yeah, there was a, my mother used to put those awful corkscrews, you know, ringlets, and I could sit on them. Oh, could you? It was I most was... uncomfortable. I spent a lot of time with my chin like this. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking of the hair on your head as a matter oh. of fact. <laughs> have a permissive audience somewhere. <laughs> you were a war baby, weren't you, Possum? Yes, oh, yes. Can you remember those horrible times? Oh, well, a certain amount about it. I mean, most of it was just sort of noise. I didn't live in London. Mm -hmm. We were sort of so you weren't bombed. evacuated, I think the word is. Evacuated. All of us, right. parents and all. I got my parents to come with me. I probably would have had a whole lot more fun had they not come. But you had enough to eat, I hope. Oh, yeah, my gosh. I, but after the war, it's funny because... Uh, I'd never seen a banana, because in those days they used to queue up for an orange, right? But I'd definitely never seen a banana, and I always remember the first time, it was about a year or two after the war, and it has frightened me for life, actually, because my mum had this banana behind her back, which I subsequently found out it was a banana. She goes, stick them up! I went, ah! And it's frightened me for life. I swear to God, my entire... Oh, my life is dear, frightened. what woman doesn't remember her first sight of a banana back <laughs> I do. Yes, I do too. In fact, I wish I'd seen my first one during the blackout. <laughs> <laughs> However, it's a, you're a pioneer. <laughs> now, you mightn't think that, but that's the word I'm giving to you, my dearest Dusty. A pioneer. Because you pioneered a look. That's a special kind of panda look it was. Yes, it's somewhat, <laughs> somewhat modified these days. I still have a very soft spot for pandas. They are my favourite animals after cats. I adore cats. them. Yeah. But I love that. It was the masquerade look that you pioneered, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously that came from being so short-sighted. I mean, you know how it is. Are you short-sighted or well, no? I, I see. These old eyes don't miss me. Oh, I bet they don't. No, but actually, if you... If you you have to take your glasses off to put your eyes on, then you can't really see what you're doing, so you put too much on, oh. and that's how it can Simple about. as that. It is very simple. Did you ever try contact oh. lenses, Dusty? Yeah, but I've always got cat hair in my eyes, so it doesn't really work. It hurts too much. <laughs> you shouldn't let those cats sit on your face, Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hobby. <laughs> you, 
you pioneered again the sort of the sort of bouffant, beehive look. You must have got through a lot of hair lacquer in those days. I still do. You probably <laughs> had your own <laughs> hole in the ozone layer. <laughs> To make a large contribution, I think. Yeah, see right. Madge here. Yes. Oh, she was into henna not very long ago. <laughs> <clears throat> she used to fill the bath with henna. It was a ghastly sight to see her sitting up in it. She'd come out of it half tandoori. <laughs> <laughs> she had permanent red pantyhose for a couple of weeks, didn't she? <laughs> <You're bad. laughs> I don't know if you have, ever have this problem, but there are a lot of wannabe Edna's. There's a lot of Edna clones. As a matter of fact, I hear people do me at parties. I oh, bet they do. I wish they'd let me know. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there's a lot of wannabe Dusties, too. Well, there certainly were. I mean, it, it was, it did set up a look. Well, it is somewhat sort of on the old Ready Steady Go days. It was a bit sort of weird seeing people domed creatures, you know, with the beehives and black eyes, because that's all I could see with these sort of little clones. It's spooky, isn't it? It's extremely spooky. I once went and there was an Edna park, and you know, they're even Madge lookalikes now. They yeah. have Madge parties <laughs> <laughs> on Halloween, mostly. <laughs> However, there's a word that's applied to us. Survivor. Oh, dear. Do you like that epithet? Do you like it? No. <laughs> no it sort of implies something in the, in the Antarctic or something. So, or right. someone, well, as though they're clinging to the wreckage. It's as though because when they life, call you a yes. survivor, yeah. you're very far from being a survivor, Dusty Springfield. You've been honing your artistry, you know. A day at a time, this woman has been growing and developing, and it's now, I think, a very mature and very beautiful artist is here with me tonight <laughs> and I want to hear I want to hear something which could be the climax of your career an aspect of the gentling of Dusty Springfield kind of if I may say so right. your yeah. new song in private would you sing it just for me yeah that's it yeah. okay.
to his big new hit single, beautifully performed. My son Kenny mimes to all of your records. And I think a lot of people do. I've wondered for a long time who actually sang them, as a matter of fact. And now I know. We'll see you all after this comfort stop. <laughs> Well, Possums, it's a bit of a mutual admiration society. Dusty's been saying how well I look, and I've been saying how well she looks. I want to know what creams you use. Oh, it's darling, so it's smooth. It's inward. It's something spooky. Oh, yeah. A lot of Edna watchers all over the world have been saying how different I look, as though I'm glowing, uh, I'm vibrant, radiant, <laughs> fulfilled is the word that crops up a lot, and I am. Bless his heart. Oh. I forgot about him. I completely forgot about him. Must be freezing to death down there. Dusty, can you possibly believe this gorgeous man was actually beaten by Sylvester Stallione in what was it, Rocky Fifteen? Ray, <laughs> impossible to believe. Must have hit him in the knees. He's very small. <laughs> Amelda is. Just me. <laughs> Little Dusty and I are going to sing a duet, aren't That's we, Dusty? God help oh, yeah. them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> We're sisters in a way, too, aren't we, Dusty? Yeah. You know, we're very close to you. We are. I, I feel a song coming on. <laughs> Excuse me. Sister. Sister, there were never such devoted sisters. Never had to have a chaperone, no sir. I'm here to keep an eye on her. Caring, sharing, every little thing that we are wearing. When a certain day. 